Well, here to discuss the subject, an entirely testicle-free panel of female comedians and actress and comedian Maureen Lipton is first, the impressionist Jan Ravens, and the stand-up comedian and panel show regular Lucy Porter. Do you think this is a worthwhile campaign? Well, I think it has to be. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very nice of Danny. Uh, to say, you know, that, that he's not going to make any panel shows uh, without women. But, you know, there's no point having a token woman because that, that's been the case for some time. Because when you get a token woman, you just feel like the token. And, you know, we've got to make it normalise it more so that, you know, there's... And also said so there's more female hosts, there's more female team captains, or there's a show, as you've, you know outlined here it's where great. there's all what you've done today is you know what most panel shows haven't been able to do for years yeah, we'll obviously be economized on together. the wood it's a, yeah. it's a yeah. wonderfully yeah. small uh, unthought through desk but never yeah. mind nice bit of uh, do you think it's a worthwhile campaign maureen I'm not really for tokenism, Jeremy. I, I, I think that time, time will it's do what tokenism... It's not tokenism, though. Surely it's merely an adequate representation of the population. Well, uh, there is a representation. You do get women. The, the problem goes back to first. Is this a programme worth having? Because I think what's happened is that certain women who it does work for, there are certain good women comics like Joe Brand and Sandy Toxfin, people who have, over the years, really by osmosis taken on the delivery of men. So what you've got, even when you've got a, 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 a women on the panel, you've actually got someone who is still sort of talking like and that. He's been curiously talking like um, <laughs> Alan Cotton, when she was on Call My Bluff in all those years. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think good. also, what, what we don't need to just be talking about female represent, representation on the shows that exist. It's about thinking of some new shows so yeah. that, so that start, the style of comedy isn't maybe so... Yeah. Ejacu okay. ejaculatory, it's a bit more kind of slow can't burn. can't even say it, you see. It's, it's, <laughs> yes. I'm not very good What's at it. What's it like <laughs> appearing on one of those shows? I mean, the only downside is when you are the only woman on, as you tend mm. to be, then you do sort of set out thinking, I'm representing my entire gender today, I'd better yeah. be good. And, you know, obviously you don't really want to go in with that pressure. But, I mean, I think that what Danny Cohen has done is nice. Yeah. But I think it is just responding to what's happening anyway, that there is a sort of wider cultural trend towards people just saying, actually, we would like to see women represented differently or better, like no more pastry, get a second chance, everyday sexism. Do we? I mean, if a woman goes on a programme, even, you know, they sometimes put people like Joan Bakewell on, on, on Have I Got News For You, she's very good. Mm. Christine Hamilton was very good, very good. Janet Street Porter's mm. always very good. But that's it. It's like a one-off. Well, it's like we must get loads of different women on rather than let's nurture. Like you say, have female team yeah. captains on stuff. And, you know, like at the moment, if I was in charge of Mock the Week, which maybe I should be, mm -hmm. um, you know, you think, well, make Catherine Ryan a team captain, yeah. or, you know, a regular rather, and then just mm. kind of bring in other women so you've always mm. got two. That would be nice. Are you it's sure people quite... really care about this? I mean, you guys may care we about it. It. Well, the audience, if you look at the audience for something mm. like QI or Buzzcocks, actually, a lot of it it's women. dominated by women. Yeah. It's more, yeah. a higher proportion of women than men. But there's probably some sociological reason, Jeremy, why the women are laughing so that the men will afterwards go home and <laughs> have relationships with them. You know. It's all down but to also, sex, I think we're, we're all just doing, doing it. Yes. So what are so the, uh, the, the whole thing has got to be changed, yeah. you know, it's just got to be random. We should have had a man on this panel tonight. Well, I mean, saving you There's good stuff. There's not self. much room, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Under but I, the think, desk. I think the, um, you know, it's, it's like, it's not just having a woman on the panel, it's the kind of woman you have on the panel. And what they quite often do is have, um, you know, a young, pretty, Girl. Oh, heaven for fend. You know, I can't well, have that. Right. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with it, except if it's supposed to be a comedy show and she isn't funny, as well as young and pretty, then, you, you know, there are a million comedians that could go on the show, but they choose to have, I mean, like, or like something like... Male comedians and a pop star. But there are, I mean, the, the positive thing is, is that I think this will change just because there are so many women yeah. doing comedy yeah. doing really well. Bridget Christie yeah. won the uh, Comedy Award at... The Edinburgh, Edinburgh this year. This year. And yeah. just, I mean, yeah, there are still more men than women doing comedy, but there are just millions of comedians now. We've got too many comedians, but luckily that means we've got yeah. a lot of women as well. But you must remember, Jeremy, Nichols and May, and John Fortune and Eleanor Bron. That was completely mm -hmm. equal. And there's very little of that about. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I've got, got completely blank on Nichols and May. Do you not remember Mike Nichols and Elaine May? No. They're a great American <laughs> duo. Wow, mm. they were, routine. they were, yeah, the, they were just, it was so intelligent, Isn't their it? comedy. That's what we need, more collaborative comedy. Yeah. Well, also, there are a lot do of men who don't get on the, I mean, you, you know, part of shows bring a certain of, There's a, a lot of saying no. When men and women are working together. Is it a different kind yes. of humour? 
Um, well, I think women behave differently when they're on a show with men. I think they're afraid to be a bit cynical and sneery like they are when they're together. <laughs> But I think the comedy circuit has changed. In the time that I've been doing comedy, it used to be you were the only woman on the bar. You were like a special act, like a juggler or something, to be the woman with something. And now the clubs that have actively sought to have, you know, female-friendly bills, like the Stand in Scotland and the Glee clubs around the country, you know, they have a really nice atmosphere. Mm. The dressing mm. rooms are lovely and audiences love those mm venues because they know that it's going to be it's not going to be shouty men intimidating them there's going to be a nice mixture mm. of styles not just women but you know different kinds of men too and, and it has to be yes yeah. sorry sorry <laughs> see men wouldn't do I that know, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, 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 you. Said, no you no <laughs> you a lot of actresses a lot of comedians would say no to being on on what the weekend and uh, well, uh, on what grounds just it's fear it's just a bear pit people well, I, I was on it uh, and, and people said to me, my God, how brave to yeah. go on there. The problem is for Females women won't. to actually be yourself is quite difficult. Mm. And actresses are used to having other people do the lines for them. Not every good comedian is witty. You can't, you know. and you can't, it, it's, it is quite difficult. I mean, it is seriously quite difficult to, to, to interrupt enough. Yeah. I mean, on, on Mock the Week, you know, I, I, I spent most of the recording going, and you do have to physically yeah. run on that one as yeah, well, which yeah, I tried yeah. to do it in heels once, which yeah. was hard. Well, yeah. don't you wear to, heels. Yeah, you have to be in trainers. I learned that very quickly. Well, I think, you know, yeah. a different, a diff we d get a different style of panel game. Mm. Well, radio works very well. All yeah. the radio yes, panel radio games, you know, like the news is hosted well, yeah. by Sandy and uh, always has loads of women on but it. But there was a very long time when, for example, I'm sorry I haven't a clue, hadn't had a woman on it for ages. very different. It's a men's I'm sorry I haven't a clue. You know, we don't touch that. That's a different different world. You couldn't interfere with that. It'd be like... You know, but generally on radio, I think things have changed and TV is sort yeah. of catching up. And there are a lot of women who they could ask. You know, there are women like Tamsin Gregg, who's mm. and the people from Outnumbered, the show. And you know, if they would say yes, give them a go. Mm. And and and, well, and lots of comedians on the circuit who I haven't seen on, uh, you know, who who would be brilliant. You know, Sarah Pascoe. And all sorts of Rebecca people. Front oh, was good on. I yeah. used to work yeah. in television. I'll, <laughs> I'll go back to that job. Thank you all very much. <laughs>